Hey everyone, so this is just a rundown of the types of food I like to take backpacking and this would be for about a three to four day hike. Um, a bonus is that you don't need a stove for any of this stuff so it's good uh, when you need to pack lightweight and also during the summer when you don't really fancy a warm meal. Um, so for breakfast um, I like to pack uh, overnight oats and this is just um, 60 grams in each bag and I pack a bag for each breakfast so that's three mornings so in this is just the 60 grams of oats and then I like to put um, some flavorings so in this one is uh, one teaspoon of cacao powder I've also got some cacao nibs I've got some shredded coconut and I've got some chia seeds and some linseeds in that one in the others you could pop some dried fruits you could put some um, other forms of nutritional powder like spirulina or something like that and the way it works is that you just need to pour some uh, milk on top of this so that's any type of your favorite plant-based milk so I've got the soya alpro here and it's quite good these guys come in individual packets which is quite useful um, if you don't have these you can also pop some milk in like something like a Nutri pouch or some other similar pouch and all you need to do is pour the milk over the oats just so it covers it and then leave it overnight you can also do that in a mug um, but it works either way, just make sure to sit them up straight overnight as you don't want them spilling over. But yeah, that's a really uh, great and easy nutritious meal for the morning to, to kick the morning off. Um, if I'm still hungry in the morning, um, I like to have um, another bar with that. So you can buy, of course, any range of these pre-made um, bars. This one um, has got pumpkin and sunflower seeding, which is quite good. And the ones from Trek are um, the Berry Burst, which has got protein in as well. Um, these are the ones I've made myself. I find it really easy to make my own bars actually, so I usually tend to um, take these rather than the pre-made ones, or the pre-bought the pre ones. But this is just um, dates, peanut butter, oats, um, seeds, um, and also a bit of cocoa powder, and um, wheatgrass powder, and I've also popped in some puffed amaranth in there just for an extra nutritional boost. I prefer making my own really as it means I can um, vary the, the ingredients that I put in it and put different nutrition in there which is quite good. Yes, yeah, so that's just a quick rundown of the breakfast that I have. So for lunch I like to have some of my crackers. So these are just the um, pumpkin seed and oat crackers and I've also got some other oats there some oat crackers there and what I like to do is I just pop some peanut butter on them or I like to put some of this vegan pesto which is quite tasty that's just a green vegan pesto and I um, pop either some, some dried tomatoes on them or I put it with some of my fresh veg fresh veg is absolutely fine to take for quite um, you know a three to four day hike it stays in quite good condition I like to eat it up in the first one or two days though just to be sure I like to stick to the stuff that is quite solid so um, they don't easily break, they're quite hardy. Um, I like to slice that in half to make it easier. I do pack this stuff at the top of my pack though just to make sure it doesn't get squished. Yeah so that's just a quick easy lunch. Um, I also usually have some, some of my snacks with that so that's either like another bar or some of my trail mixes. Um, so these are some that I've just made myself, put them together. Uh, this one is the nuts, so I have Brazil nuts, I have almonds, I have walnuts, I have cashews, and you can pop any nuts that you like to in there. This is also the dried fruit that I take. I've got some apricots here, I've got some prunes, but you could also have some things like dates or some dried apple. Um, so for a another fruity tropical hit, I like to take something like pineapple or mango. And these are ones from Urban Fruit that don't have any added sugar or sulfites in. So that's quite, um, quite a nice addition. And another thing I do like to have is roasted beans. Um, so you can buy them um, quite simply. Lots of retailers do them. This is the roasted corn from Love Corn. Or they also have roasted chickpeas from um, this brand. Um, but I, I like to make them myself really. They're super easy to make. Um, so this is roasted chickpeas. And that's just with some olive oil and um, a bit of salt and a little bit of Ras Al Hanout spice mix. Um, I've done a little video on, uh, on my channel so you can see how I made that but it's really easy. And this is also roasted uh, cannelloni beans. 
they're really easy to make. I've got a bit of salt and I've got a bit of dry sage on there with a bit of olive oil or rapeseed oil. And they just make a nice, a really nice um, nutritional snack just to have on the trail. Another nice snack I like to have is um, this seaweed actually. I like to have it with my trail mix. It goes really well with the nuts. And um, I take it out of its package. packaging. It folds up really tight, it's really small. And it's a nice uh, nutritional boost. It's got a bit of iodine, it's got some of the extra vitamins in. So another additional spread I like to take is uh, yeast extract or marmite. It's uh, quite a nice addition to have as it's got lots of B vitamins in and also B12. So it just ensures you're getting the right nutrition out on the trail. I might either put that with my crackers or sometimes have it with a tortilla wrap. Yes, yeah, so that would be my lunch. Um, and now on to dinner. So for dinner, um, I usually like to have um, one of these wraps. And with the wraps, I again put either um, a mix really. I would have either the crunchy peanut butter or the jam. And in the jam, I put them in these little pots. Um, I know you can also get them in these little um, these little packs, um, and you can also get dairy-free spread in these little packs if you just have a look online. Um, our, all I like to do is put it with some pesto, and again, I have it with uh, the fresh veg, the sun-dried tomatoes or uh, sun-dried peppers, and that makes I wrap it all up, and that makes quite a nice. Um, quite a nice like, little wrap for that. I like to load it up with some nuts as well for a bit of a bite and a protein hit. Or in the first uh, one or two days, um, I also take some pre-cooked vegan sausages and I just slice them up. They'll keep fine uh, for the first one or two days. So that's quite a nice um, addition. Um, instead of uh, wraps, another uh, dinner that I would do is actually couscous. Now you can do these yourself. You can just get normal couscous, chuck some sun-dried tomatoes or some olives in it, but sometimes I buy the pre-made couscouses. Um, so while it says uh, you have to put boiling water in, I've actually found if you put uh, cold water on it and leave it for 30 minutes, the couscous puffs up fine. Um, so that's quite a tasty thing to have. Um, I again have that with my nuts and some of my veg or sun-dried veg. And then uh, moving on to dessert, if I fancy something sweet, which I always do, I would either have um, some of these bagels, so you can get these savoury varieties, but this is the cinnamon and raisin. I would again have that with my jam, and you can also get um, vegan chocolate spread as well. And then I would have uh, some of my uh, chocolate. You can get some good milk-free uh, milk chocolate. Uh, I really like Vigo, that's a nice brand. But yeah, this is just uh, dark chocolate, you can get it in different varieties. I've got um, the orange and geranium there as well. And that makes it quite a nice hit and it's full of magnesium, it's got some good vitamins in it. Um, quite a nice addition. And if I want anything else sweet, I may take um, another bar or a chocolate bar or something like that just for uh, the evenings. So another thing my friends uh, like to do, and sometimes I do, is uh, take some of these vitamin shakes. Um, you just pop some water in them um, and shake them up in your container. They're quite nice. They've got a couple uh, extra vitamins in. Um, so this one's got some pea protein. It's got some uh, vitamin D2. It's got some vitamin B12. And this one is a uh, energy fizz stick with vitamins in as well. Um, it's quite nice if you want that extra hit, if you're worried about getting vitamins out on the trail. Personally, um, I never find it a problem. I think um, I take quite um, a very array of foods, so it's never really a problem for me. But it's also quite good if you um, don't like the taste of water when you put in your water tablets, as it covers it with a particular flavour. So that's um, another nice addition. I know there's another brand called Amazing Grass. A lot of uh, my blogger friends uh, rave about that, so it may be worth checking out something like that as well if you're interested. So that's just a quick rundown of the types of food I like to take out on the trail. Um, I like to vary it up with the type of nuts or fruits that I take and also some of the roasted veg and also some of the toppings on top um, and the different flavours of milk. If you've got any other suggestions of the type of foods you like to take, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to try different things. So enjoy your next trip and uh, let me know how you get on and I'll see you for the next video.